The Mining Weekly Online is talking to Pan-African. We're talking to the CEO, Ron Holding, and we're talking to the CFO, Quibus Lutz. Ron, can you give us an update on the state of your business? Barberton Mines as such, uh, you know, which has the, been the backbone of Pan-African resources for, for, for many years, is continuing to do, do what it always does, operating at very good margins. And at the same time, the BTRP, which we commissioned last year in July, has also come to the fore and it's doing extremely well. Costs at the BTRP are at the moment $450 per ounce. And the overall uh, sustaining cost at Barberton is, is around about 750 US dollars per ounce. Moving on to Pan-African Resources as a whole and the acquisition of Evander, which took place in the beginning of March last year, the integration has gone extremely well. Uh, the whole management team that we, ha that we took over from Harmony have remained on board. We went through the first three months of this financial year where we were still in the, in the throes of uh, the high-grade cycle. Since then, we've moved into the low-grade cycle at Evander. As we sit now, we right in the middle of this low-grade cycle. Uh, things tend uh, will tend towards the end of the year that we should start moving out of it, back into the high-grade cycle, where things will start coming back to where Evander should be producing in the region of 100 to 105,000 ounces per annum. Part of uh, the, 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 the effects of this low-grade cycle meant that we had to spend a lot of our time looking at some of the uh, potential projects that are available at Evander to bring additional ounces to the fore. The first one was look, starting up an old gold section, which meant vamping and sweepings in the seven shaft area. That's going relatively well at the moment. It's been uh, uh, ongoing now for nine months and it will carry on into the future. At the same time, we commenced the, the ETRP, which is the Evander Tailings re Retreatment Plant. We commenced uh, the, uh, the feasibility study last year uh, went into a feasibility study and we were granted board approval in March this year to pr proceed with the project. The project produce, will produce uh, around about 10,000 ounces uh, of, of gold per annum uh, th through treating uh, in the region of 200,000 tonnes per month at a grade of 0.32 grams per tonne. We closed the Evander uh, transaction in at the beginning of March of last year and just in terms of funding, it was funded with a combination of debt and equity and also internal cash. So uh, in terms of the equity, uh, shareholders put in 700 million rands as part of the rights issue. Uh, I think shareholders have done pretty well out of that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that rights issue. Our share price is currently 2 rand 60. And what was so the price? Uh, the rights issue was done at 1 rand 90. And I think that's despite, uh, obviously, I mean, a more, more challenging gold price environment at the moment. Um, also, shareholders have had the benefit of a dividend that was paid uh, just over 13 cents a share in December of last year. So in terms of the, the acquisition price, which was about 1.5 billion, uh, 700 million rands was, uh, was shareholder funds. We used internal cash and then we also drew down on a revolving credit facility with, uh, with, a, with a club of banks. We've been fortunate in that we've been able to repay all of the acquisition debt uh, that was, that was uh, incurred to, to fund Evander. And we also then paid uh, the dividend in December of last year. So that was, I mean, an outflow of about 240 million rands. So despite all that, we now in a cash a positive position where we have no debt on the balance sheet. Not afraid to, to do things a little bit differently, I think, when it makes sense for us. So in terms of the uh, Evander tailings plant that Ron mentioned, uh, we will be funding that with a gold loan uh, that was done with uh, Barclays APSA. So we have to repay them in the order of 15,700 ounces over a four-year term. And you know what that did for us, it effectively hedged the capital uh, that we needed for the construction of the plant. And then you know, going forward, we're fairly comfortable that we're going to be producing from that plant, plant at a very low cash cost, probably between $750 and $800 per ounce all in. All in cost is, um, is, is a question we get asked very frequently. That's something we look at definitely also. And it's also important in terms of managing our cash flows, what you need to know so, I mean, what is the total cost or total cash flow that you will need? And then also, uh, I mean, obviously one needs to, where possible, budget for a cash return to shareholders in the form of a dividend also, in addition to just reinvesting in your operations. 
the Evander Tailings uh, uh, retreatment plant will be used as a stepping stone for ourselves to value the, the bigger project which is also uh, situated out in the Evander area and that is the project looking at uh, uh, the, the huge amount of tailings that we have got on surface. We've got a, a total amount of about 203 million tonnes grading at 0.29 grams per tonne situated on surface. We started the project the 1st of April. Uh, at this point in time, we're busy with doing uh, civil work. The work there is in actual fact upgrading and refurbishing the, the old Kinross plant. And we expect it to come in line and by January next year we should be in production. Looking at the group as a, a, as a whole, uh, you know, without too much forward looking on it, uh, our production target at this, for this current year is, is, is to achieve about 215,000 ounces of of gold. We are on target to achieve that. Uh, on, on the cost side, there have been numerous cost uh, uh, pressures which we're all aware of, the labor increases uh, which have come through. But I think we'll be able to retain uh, 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 an increase in the region of about 10%. It will be extremely difficult for us not to go ahead in the, in, in, you know, in the, in the years to come and not pay uh, uh, a portion of the profits out to shareholders. That was Mining Weekly Online talking to Pan-African CEO Ron Holding and Pan-African CFO Quirbus Lutz.